What's up guys? So today got just a small little video for you. Wow, nice. Nice. Start the video. That just happened like right as I'm starting. Anyways, we have double boss invasion weekend. People are doing boss invasion specifically for that reason. Uh, yeah, double boss invasion. So this time it will be double points and double rewards. Moving forward, I think we'll probably just do double points. But since we didn't specify it beforehand, I'm going to turn on the double rewards. It's already on now. So come join. We do have a calendar now. Thank you to Shesher for making it. Um, so for this week, we, like, as mentioned, we do have double boss invasion. Next weekend, we have double experience. The weekend after, double raid points. And then we will have a Vasa mass on the 22nd. So that is it for the calendar and for the, you know, the weekly ones. I do have a survey, which I'll go over in a minute. And then I, I did also want to say that there's going to be an update on Monday, the 10th. That'll be the next game update. Or there will be an update to the event, the King Green Dragon Ball and that. Um, and then the event will end the following Monday on the 17th. So once the new update rolls out on the 10th, you'll have one week to experience that. And then um, there will be an aspect of it that will be... Uh, that will remain in game and be a permanent, you know, fixture in revival. I, I like to do that with the events, just so a lot of it isn't wasted and whatnot. I like to sort of incorporate in, in, into a real thing, you know, for the game and whatnot. Um, and we'll we'll see that on hopefully the tenth. If anything happens to delay it, I'll let you guys know when that happens, or you know, exactly what what the details will be. But uh, that that's when it'll end on the seventeenth. So make sure you get all your rotations in. Let's go over the survey. So I like to do these just to sort of gather your opinions. I know that a lot of people, you know, don't care and they'll just do whatever, you know, they're fine with whatever I decide. Um, and I appreciate that. But I do, I do, I value you guys' opinions and I want to, um, you know, I want to get them. Uh, so the, the main topic really for this one is just kind of the current status on Revival. Mainly, mainly one thing, the donator store. Uh, so we're, we're, we're really thinking about the economy and, and what we can do to improve it and, and enhance it. And I think one, one thing that's always been, you know, weird is the amount of boxes on the server. So <clears throat> that's uh, one of the, one of the things I wanted to do to sort of, balance out donating if you will was create boxes you know i didn't i didn't want them to be broken or, or not broken but like bad on other servers where like i don't know maybe you just can't get anything a lot of our good boxes like the raid boxes the uber boxes you're guaranteed to get something good like there's nothing that's possibly bad on the table so uh, and then we're i assume you know i don't i don't know every server every server is different but a lot of servers wouldn't be that way they would have you know they would have different uh, that's not the box i want. i was one number off so, I mean, like, if you open these boxes, there's there's nothing you can get that's bad. Now, now technically, you, Kodai Insignia is bad, but that's, like, the worst possible thing you could accomplish. And you always get power points, and raid boxes are, are basically guaranteed as well. So, that's just kind of one of the things we've done um, to sort of keep, keep, you know, keep make it so you couldn't directly get the items, but, you know, you weren't also just going to get trash every time you donate, you know. No one, no one wants that. So, that was sort of the philosophy uh, when you know, progressing revival and whatnot was, was to just make boxes. Tons of boxes, you got unique box, little box, <laughs> rare box, chests one through seven. I mean, it's really box skate, you know, that's kind of, I mean, I like boxes, so, you know, I code what I like, and personally, I like opening stuff and mystery boxes, goodie bags, sinister keys, all that jibber jabber, I mean, those, that, stuff, that stuff's enjoyable to me. And uh, that's why I code it. But at the same time, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be a dick here and do, you know, just what I want to do. I want to get you guys' opinions and make sure that I'm still doing the things that would be in the best interest for the server. So with thinking about the economy, I was just wondering, like, how do people feel about that? Because I'm thinking maybe maybe this box scape that I've created um, is probably could possibly be doing worse for the economy. I really don't know. There's no way to know unless we had two servers, one where we went the other way, one where we went the other way, you know what I mean? But... I'm just been just been thinking about it, maybe thinking that we should reevaluate what we've been doing, and that's really what the survey is about. It's about getting your opinions and letting us know how you feel about it. So the first question is, which of these scenarios best defines pay to win in your opinion? Obviously, we don't want to be pay to win. We we try to be a server that um, is realistic with all of the donating options. There's nothing like if you go to the in-game store right now, um, there's a lot of things you would not be able to get. Like you know, well, I mean, Elijah's not in there. I don't think anymore. It wasn't there at one point. I do kind of rotate some of the stuff. Um, I guess the Infernal Cape being there is kind of broken. I think the only reason I have it there now is because I had it there before. But that's kind of a dumb logic. Because <laughs> it shouldn't have been there in the first place. So, uh, probably... I, 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 you know, people always say that it's not a great shot. But I, I agree with you. But at the same time, it's just really weird and, and difficult to find any sort of balance. Because 
anything we put in here, like if we upgraded the armor, made it robe tops of darkness and a masket's armor, then that would obviously massively devalue those items. Um, and then, you, I mean, you have the issues now where, like, does anybody even use this in-game donator store? I guess the only way you would use it is if you just got the bonds, right? I don't think anyone donates specifically for bonds to buy things from the store. And if you do, let me know. But I think there could be a lot of improvements, and we want to make sure that when we do do the improvements, we're not, we're not you know, bordering pay to win. So there's the first question. Uh, second one is just would you, you know, in the current state of revival, would you classify that as pay to win in your opinion? How do you feel about the current state of the, you know, this is the one I was talking about with the loot boxes. You, if you like the loot boxes like me, you can keep that. If you have a different opinion, you know, you know, feel free to provide all your opinions. And towards the end of the survey, there will be a place for you to leave your name. If you leave, if you, if you do fill out the survey and leave your name, you will be entered into a giveaway. I do want to encourage you guys to, to give your opinion. And even if you don't play the server, you don't even care about the giveaway, you know, I, I, I value your opinion just as a viewer. Because I assume if you're watching this... To this point, you're a viewer. <laughs> whether, whether you're playing the server or not, you're at least watching the videos. Uh, which would you prefer, expanding on older content or just creating new stuff entirely? When you think of RuneScape, it's a really massive game. There's just a billion cities, there's a billion quests, a billion small things here and there. So there's a lot of room to really expand on. So should we focus more on developing actual old school content? Um, you know, obviously we'd make it different and put our own taste on it, but you know what I mean? Like, I just like, like, when we were doing it with the Zanaris City upgrade and we were about to do it with Martania, we did some Martania, but we just, we, we definitely need to do more to, to consider that finished, if you will. Um, but would you like to see stuff like that or would you like to just see entirely new stuff that you've never seen on OSRs or, you know, similar to OSRs, just like the newer stuff, you know, and not worry about the old things? Um, would you agree or disagree with the statement dead content is inevitable? I, I think dead content is inevitable, in my opinion. Um, I think it's just going to happen sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to code things that are just going to be good for low-tier players, and you're going to code things that are good for high-tier players. Um, but there's always going to be something new, and that something new might always push something out, you know? I, I think that it's a good idea to try to salvage everything and try to make it not dead content. You know, I hate dead content, right? I, I don't want to waste my time coding something for no reason. But it just happens, you know. There's, there's, there's. Unless the rewards are really overpowered, and if they're really overpowered, then you, you're pushing the line for what's considered overpowered. You know, nowadays people will get like, I don't know, good loot off the yell, and everyone's like, rip, rip. Oh, that was shit loot. You know, wow, you got, you got shit on. You know, people are a little, a little too harsh with, <laughs> with the terminology, and that's really the fault of, of ours. You know, that's the fault of myself in creating the server where the loots just keep getting pushed. And pushed to more overpowered. So that's something we, we gotta fix. Um, when it comes to quests, what are your thoughts? Uh, if you like quests, if you dislike quests, um, what what don't you like? What do you like? I do I do want to do quests. I, I think for me, the thing that I don't like about quests is uh, I I just don't like having to do something. And I don't like the annoyances. Like like I don't like puzzles. I like puzzles, right? It's just not the dumb ones. Like the one where your monkey man is two, where you have to like hide from the monsters and stuff like that. I hate that kind of crap, and it was so annoying, just stupid stuff like that, or, you know, puzzles where you have to drop one thing here, go pick up a thing over there, drop a thing over there, pick up a thing over here, I mean, we, I wouldn't even really want to know how to code stuff like that, I'm sure I could if I wanted to, but I don't want to, so, uh, I, I think, and I think another thing is, is being forced into it because of either the rewards being really, really good or what, um, if I do quests, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm not going to just do, like, Dork's quest or Chef's Assistant, any random quests. I'm going to do completely custom ones. Um, so if we do that, you know, give me your thoughts on that. Which attack tile would you say is the best, just in general? I, know, I feel like the just in general part is the part that people are going to forget about and, and just kind of pick magic immediately. Um, but you're not using magic everywhere. That's what I want you to keep in mind. What it, uh, just, just whatever you think is the best stack, attack style in general. Whatever, the, whatever you think that is. How do you feel about the current um, state of the PvP system or the combat system, whatever? Um, so, you know, <laughs> there could definitely be improvements, right? There could definitely be improvements, but I, th I think it's better than before. That's that's really my opinion on. Do you prefer solo group activities? I already know the answer to that question, but I just want to see the actual percentage of people that feel one way or the other. And then, of course, leave your name to enter the giveaway. So this will be in the description below. Please fill it out. Enter your name. You will be entered into a giveaway. Uh, this is another look at the calendar. We have an update to Monday. Monday. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I apologize for the lack of videos and everything. I've just been busy in real life these last few weeks, but we should be smooth sailing. 
moving forward i should have something out for you tomorrow and then we have an update monday so you'll have that video and then i should have i'm trying to i'm trying to get either every other day or at least one video every three days that's my goal so thanks for watching guys i will see you later